Well... Jesus. Ouch. Apparently my controller was attached and made so all the vibration close, noises. No, Sorry about that. I see a beautiful damsel in distress. Wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Alright, so this is pretty much where I've got to. Um, so you can't go this way. Let's go check out some of this stuff. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn out. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. <laughs> yeah, the visual design in this game is great. It's really nicely done. I, I also really like it. It's nicely animated as well. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Hmm. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Okay. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. Well, that could spell anything. <laughs> Alright, so we can't do anything with this. Uh, I guess we just head inside. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. <laughs> right, let's go check out the crowd. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting. <clears throat> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I yeah, we got this. that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So oh, move that'll win run its line and draw a number like everyone else. All right, what weight number did we get? Number sixty-six. Almost my lucky number. Cool, number sixty-six. Uh, what do we actually have? Just oh, we've lost everything. So we literally just have the waiting number. All right, let's give it a save. Continue. <laughs> this, this is Ryan's cameo in the game. You are gone, though. <laughs> uh. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. <laughs> Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful it's quality voice acting here. Tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone, <laughs> everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. All right. Uh, anything else we can take around here? I don't think so. Wait, there's a thing that. Oh, is it just? Oh, magnets. Oh, let's take those magnets. Cool. We have magnets. Let's talk to these guys. Let's talk to Roneth. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. 
They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be, um, integrated into our community. And someone has to nurse her back to hell. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. Yep, you want Stephanie her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? <laughs> Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? <laughs> wow. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. Nailed it. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. <laughs> I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. All right. I'll skedaddle. So, mayor's office is this way, but we can't get in. So, we've got the post office is this way and the assembly hall. So, the thing, the post office will also be locked because the opening hours is broken. Stop right there! The post office... <coughs> the post office yep. is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! Nailed it. Go to the back. Uh, I can't talk to her. She's not a interactable object. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. I mean, this guy doesn't look like a necromancer at all. Oh, Rufus, there was a little bit of bug there. have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, Knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. <laughs> wow. That's a little bit morbid. Enough. <laughs> what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. <laughs> Their tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. <laughs> All right, so we need to make coffee. Uh, is there anything? Donob. No, okay, let's go back. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for, and why my face is on some of them. Oh. Alright, so we have some balloons. 
Magnets balloon to the winning number. Okay. Uh, only insane thing else to interact with here, just town hall. So we can't go to the mayor's office, we can't go to the post office, so... Well, I'll just try Stop it. right nope. there! Where do you think you're going? Worth a shot. I'll go to Elysium with goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only! So draw a number, or bugger off! Nice. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil Sportress, I guess. All right, let's leave. All right, so we have a whole bunch of places we can um, check out now. We've got the alley, uh, front of the town again, water reservoir, Tony's house. So that's that's where we started. Uh, Tony's shop. This seems locked still. Wenzel's house is there. Uh, emergency phone is there. Okay, let's try the alley first. Yeah, so many places. Hey, it's Hanek. So we've got uh, Lonzo's bar. Emergency stations this way. Huh? The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear power propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac. Or. The Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? Well, I guess we can't go there. Hey, Mr. Nice parrot. parrot. Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. <laughs> he must have picked that up from her. We can't wow. eat anymore. Ah, although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Wow. Ah, ah. <laughs> I love the humor in this game. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus. Exactly. All right. Why aren't you working? You mean... Why am I doing just the same as you? Uh, because sick some bird. joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan. That's why. Hey, oh, we have magnets. I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, yeah, we're busy. How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. We have some magnets. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief <laughs> detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will, on his part, prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, yeah, sounds about I right. have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Oh, we need we need a key. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Uh, we need to find out the... Alright, so we need to clean the windscreen, I think, so we can find out the name of the car. Okay. Forget it. Done. Anything <laughs> else? Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Oh, we can't go down in the chair. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. I already know, so we can put the magnets on the map, probably. Yeah, so we actually have a map where we can put magnets down. But we don't have any reason to do this or anything. Like, we don't know what the context is. Who instructions? 
Underneath Kuvak, there's a labyrinth of junk tunnels where scavengers like Havoc to spare parts. Hard and stupid Joe often scavengers have to use demolitions to clear the tunnels. Uh. Versus. Rufus can detonate explosives marked in three areas by ringing the bell. It's starting to go from a constant handy if they view like Rufus have a good plan. So we have no reason to blow anything up right now, but if we need to, we have that. Let's go inside the bar. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. Great. Thanks, I guess. What's behind the suspicious curtain? What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. Uh, ooh, can we take the dart? Yes, we can. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the <laughs> planet. Huh, not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. Huh, I could do with a steak now. <laughs> nice joke. So we can't actually grab the curtain. Lonzo. Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. A long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvak is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvak. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. <laughs> it must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. <laughs> Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did Aha. you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really... Oh, we pro I bet we have to use the chili. Ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo? Are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. That's a good stop. What the fuck? Uh... <laughs> that is amazing. Oh boy. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey. Wow. You have a pipes? Tanks? Valves? It's a... It's a... a it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any <laughs> old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? <laughs> Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of... Highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Welcome back, uh -huh. Ronith. You arrived at the best then part. <laughs> they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients I needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In well, we found the coffee. Found well, how we get course. the coffee anyway. I hope. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> what a scrawl. Oh, oh, Jesus. I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. Chili. Hmm. None of these things can be found in Kuvak. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Alright, let's have a look at that again. So, clear water, extraordinarily simulating, black powder, hot bean, well, we know what that is. Um, revitalizing liquid, energy-rich water. Interesting. 
Oh, and water. So you had... wait. Oh, so the, these three things make the water, and these three things make the powder, and then we add the water and the powder together. I think that's what that's saying. So we need three, two types of water and some sort of revitalizing liquid. And then we just need this shit. Oh, I know where this is. Oh, can I take this? Flawless performance. Still some room for improvement, but that wasn't too bad for an amateur. Yes, we can. Coffee machine, can we take the, the cup? cup? is still empty. Still being the operative word here. No, we can't take the cup. I don't think there's anything else to actually interact with in here. Oh, maybe we can ask him where the stuff is. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. Aha, we can ask him about, so... About the powder. Tell me. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black powder. Hmm. I said <laughs> probably not black powder. All right, so black powder. black powder is blackish. Listen, this machine <laughs> works with high pressure and extreme heat. If you put black powder into the yada yada yada, let me worry about the ingredients <laughs> and you'll prepare the machine. All right, black powder. Oh, Got it. No, I am starting to regret this. All right, so we need black powder. Any idea what? Highly stimulating means? I have no idea. Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some kind of <laughs> stimulant in his office. That's just Rufus. what I said. You did? Maybe I'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time. Ah, oh, I guess I had that coming. Alright, so Dr. Gizmo has the stimulating thing. Any idea what we know what this is though? Beans are supposed to be? No idea. Well, this seems to be a highly intellectual puzzle for a gifted mind. Right. Maybe you should ask Wenzel. Uh, talking about me. Sorry. I guess I should have known. Statistically, it was very likely that you were talking <laughs> about yourself. It's a black powder, probably from the detonations or something. Like, maybe from Hansel or something. Uh, highly stimulating from Dr. Gizmo. And hot beans, we know where that is. It's on the plant outside the house, but we don't know how to pick it up. Don't worry, I'll manage. What about the waters? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Water. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a me. Everybody knows that. My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvac on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash. Your father was a bullshitter, <laughs> just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it. Maybe to the detonation the puzzle has something to do with finding the clean water, then. Energy rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trash. Those contain energy. How about you ask him? Oh, sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting. Hanek is working right in front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps <laughs> in his direction and talk to him directly. Damn it! Mm. Exhausting and stressful. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds drink sounds like scary. murder. No, it sounds amazing. What's about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a relationship with Tony. Oh, sick burn. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up, I can't wait to fight. Yeah, yeah, you've heard that. Uh, let's I'll go. be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, can I interact with anything behind the bar now he's gone? No, I cannot. Alright, let's, let's go. Alright, let's take the... Hanek, since he's here. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. 